Hey, what's up guys? Max Holbert here with Kevin Van Noren, uh, and we're jumping into some watchdogs. Hey, how's it going? Going well. We're going to watch some dogs. You're going to watch, watch at some dogs watch some playing dogs. some watchdogs. See what I did there? Yeah. It's a joke. It's a joke. See? Good, See? Good, good. I'm doing I'm doing good at jokes. All right. So, I don't I didn't come in like I was I was tapped for this uh, a little bit earlier, so I didn't come I'm not coming with any specific things in mind. This okay. is uh I'm playing actually under uh Rob Handlery's gamer tag, so uh, we we got to see what what Rob's been up to, and uh, for now we should probably choose something to do. So hopefully we'll do a bunch of stuff. We'll maybe do some story stuff, do some open world stuff, do some multiplayer stuff, and so on and so forth. But he's still early in the game, so uh, this is a location that triggers a memory. So let's let's drive that way. What what is the basic flow of gameplay? So in, in terms of flow. Um, Watch Dogs is, is very much like a lot of city-based open world games in the sense that you have story missions to go to that, that, that sort of flesh out the story and keep things moving forward from a narrative perspective, but in between you have a lot of side things to do. Okay. Um, and then the multiplayer is built into the single player experience. So when you, when you join a multiplayer match, sometimes there's a loading screen and stuff like that, but a lot of things just take place in the world where you're existing. Okay. Um, you know, but hopefully I can show some of that. Uh, maybe yeah. I'll be lucky and I'll get hacked while we play, and you can see how the hacking works um, when, when another player basically jumps in and invades your world and then tries to steal information from you, and your goal is to find that person and kill them. So he just wants the information and then <laughs> wants to get away. And you want, you to, want to kill him, <laughs> um, which is fairly violent, I guess, yeah. when you think about it. You know, all killing, right. killing and all. But if you have any questions, let me know. Absolutely, I'm reading the chat. So, anything you want to ask, I'm in here. Yeah, and you can you can watch. Uh, you're either watching on Twitch, which is Twitch.tv/gamespot, or on Gamespot itself. Um, but it's easiest for us to get questions in the Twitch chat. So, yeah. So uh, feel free to to pop into both places if if you want to get some immediate communication going on. But in the game you do play as Aiden Pierce. I am out for revenge. Um, I used to be a basically a hacker for hire. And at one point, I, during a, a, a heist in a hotel where, we're, where me and my buddy were stealing some stuff, um, like hacking into rich people's accounts and stealing their money, um, got on somebody's wrong side. And... People don't like their money stolen. Yep. And then they hired, <laughs> and then somebody was hired to come after me while I was driving. They shot out my tire. My niece was with me, and she died in the accident. And now Ouch. Aiden's uh, out for revenge. And here's actually a little bit of it. This is a, actually a little bit of a story bit. This is a recollection. Is this it? Well, you get to see the... Uh, this is basically Aiden's memory of the accident. So okay. it's... Uh, it's kind of, it does that thing where it's like filtered through memories and a little, little, little bit of that hacky art style. Hmm. So it's a really interesting way to present this. It sort of reminds me of how our memories actually do work, piecing together bits of information rather than being a complete. Yeah, yeah. It's not like our minds videograph the whole thing and then right. play it back. It, so this sort of reminds me of what, uh, That's cool. what a memory actually sort of feels like hmm. in a way. Although I don't know that there's a good visual representation of of a series of memories, yeah, yeah, yeah. for example, but uh, this is as good as any I've seen, I think. It's interesting. I I, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a gravestone that indicates somebody's age like that. It says hmm. her death date, but it also date, says what also her age, age was, yeah. um, which is which is sort of interesting. It's for people that don't do math well. Yeah, but that's that's sort of sad. So uh, maybe I'll go and do something a little more, a little more uplifting. I'm looking to see if there's a CTOS tower for me to hack, but I, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, continue the story so I can unlock the rest of that stuff. Luckily, that doesn't take long. Mm -hmm. um, you do have a skill tree and a bunch of other things like that, but 
before you unlock all of it, you have to actually get to a certain place in the story before all of those things become open to you. Sure. So we'll go and see what the next story mission has has in store. All right. Uh, somebody with a terrible green name here in the Twitch chat, Angelusia, maybe. Uh, as uh, how is the driving compared to Sleeping Dogs or Grand Theft Auto? I didn't play much of Sleeping Dogs, uh, so I can't really say. It, and the driving is arcadey, so you know certainly if you're expecting a, a a driving experience that feels more like Forza or GT, you're going to be disappointed. It's actually uh, cars that are that look heavy feel rather heavy, and and mm -hmm. uh, but on the other hand, um, a lot of the cars are very slippy and slidey okay. and very bouncy. So the physics are pretty bouncy. Um, yeah, the, the physics are pretty loose. But I came to really enjoy the driving, as a matter of fact, in part because because of that bounciness. So, for mm. example, there's one of my favorite ways to escape the cops is to uh, open a bridge as I approach it and go flying up, you know, up the <laughs> span and across and leaving the cops behind me. And it, it's all the more exciting because you you get a lot of well, you see, for example, right there, you get a lot of air, um, <laughs> and there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of bouncing involved, so the physics are are loose and yeah, yeah. and rather. Uh, so speaking of running away from cops, I yeah. think there's no cops in the water. There are no cops in the water, um, but if I maybe I'll uh, try to get the cops on my case here. After this, I'll d I'll try to do the story mission first, and okay. then we'll we'll get the cops on get the cops on me. I'll I'll try to steal a few cars <laughs> and see if I can get the the cops' attention. And then maybe we'll escape off to the water, yeah. um, is which that... is my second favorite kind of escape. <laughs> After the bridges, it's going. Oops. Oh, nice! I got out. I, I hit the the Y button by accident. That was my own stupid fault. Because I I went to hit X. That's all right. There's a mini. Get out of there, soccer mom. I'm heading this way. Is X the hack button? Yeah, X is the hack button, and I and I uh, I hit both X and Y at the same time. So I hacked into the billboard at the same time that I leapt out of the <laughs> out of the vehicle. Fun times, fun times. How frequently do you find yourself hacking things? All the time. You're always hacking things. <laughs> um, part of that, though, is it's not as hacky as you think. A lot of that simply means activating things in the environment mm -hmm. in, in some way. So sometimes, even though it's called hacking, sometimes all you're doing is like raising a forklift, Yeah, yeah. for instance. Um, or you're you're opening a gate, if or you're causing a steam pipe to explode beneath. I double my weapons. So this is where. Oh, I remember this. This is where you have to to buy nice an assault day, rifle. Is this like a standard weapon store? Yeah, this is a standard weapon store. It's funny though. Like eventually, you you find so much Over the past stuff. Few weeks. CTOS that um, I never really bought security. much over the course of the game because most of it just flowed freely. Okay. Like it, you Room pick up, you know, your your enemy's weapons, for instance. So I rarely bought so we weapons, although I did buy, you know, a grenade launcher and a sniper rifle in particular. So uh, let's get over here. Continue on the early campaign, and um, I haven't been invited to an online thing yet. But we can get into an online thing in a bit. Uh, usually, like a lot of the time, and this usually comes later. Um, I think the game specifically keeps you from being invited into too much online stuff in the early hours before you open up everything, and then suddenly the uh, the offers to get into online races and and uh, other things kind of come fast and furious. Especially if you've started hacking people or they've started hacking you, because you often get the chance to like provide retribution to, to people that hacked into you no. by getting a chance to like uh, teach them a lesson. Oh, sorry. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. So yeah, I've barely unlocked much here, so. So let's see how this goes. So what is CTOS? Is that a CTOS is basically the uh, here, there we go. 
C <laughs> CTOS is the system, is Chicago's uh, computer system that basically stores everybody's information. Okay. And uh, it's also the surveillance system. So I think what I'll do is I'll... So now you start to see some of the things I can do in the environment, although I'm not doing anything very interesting right now. <laughs> so let's uh, let's hack into, you know, we can hack into some cameras here and sort of get a feel. I'll, so I need to get the access code. So it looks like he's a dude with an access code. So I can just hack him right from the camera without actually having to move. Huh. This guy, eventually we might be able to s distract. Let's go over to this camera and see what's going on. Camera hopping can be really, really useful for a lot of reasons. I'm not gonna get much out of this angle here. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> but the world doesn't stop just because I'm in cameras, and that's so now I've I've started picking up some some other weapons. Can you drag bodies to hide them? You cannot. That is not part of this game's particular brand of stealth. Okay. I wish I had a silenced pistol here. I'm looking to see if there's a... All right, so here, I'll burst that and it might draw him over there so I can sneak past like so. So, so sometimes you just want to distract dudes. Mm -hmm. um, is I mean, there is there a way to kind of move through a lot of things without being noticed at all and not get in a gunfight? Yeah, you can totally uh, skip past a bunch of gunfights okay. if you want. The, the bad news, if you can call it bad news, is that the shooting is really, really easy. <laughs> so now I'm hacking in and now I get to do the hacking minigame which in this particular case is super easy, um, okay. but these actually do get more uh, more challenging as you go. Mm. And remember, I'm still in the world, so... So you can be caught right so now. So I can be caught right now, yes. So we'll hack into this, this might so this is going to pull up the randomizer. So I'm going to rant like, like hack into some random computer somewhere, and you often get a, a look at what people are doing in the privacy of their own homes. In this case, this guy is being, this guy is being normal. He's just looking at stars through his telescope. <laughs> but a lot of the time, in fact, I would say most of the time, you see people doing things that they wouldn't necessarily want to be caught doing. Mm. Um, so I can imagine. Inside someone's home. Let's look it's into like this DTOS one. Is compiling every intimate detail from private citizens. It's no wonder you you often see, you know, sex acts in progress, cannibals having a meal. <laughs> and this guy's telling his sleeping wife or girlfriend that she's a nasty piece of shit. He's going to murder her and put her head. In the cabinet. Yeah, sweetheart. Don't worry, my love. Everything's fine. You go back to sleep, okay? <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Fucking cunt. Ah, oh, see, that's that's. I have very mixed feelings about that aspect of the game because it it's it's a little bit try too hard, if you know yeah. what I mean. Like it's trying yeah. so hard to make everybody seem like an asshole. Right. Um. So at this point, you've got a contact that helps you out through your through your missions called Bad Boy 17, but it doesn't actually take long for Bad Boy 17 to be revealed. Uh, like you actually learn who this person is mm -hmm. um, very, very soon in the game. So when you start playing, if you see this, don't think that Bad Boy 17's identity ends up becoming a, a major, you know, if I can see them mystery yeah, or anything yeah, yeah. because that's that's opened up pretty quickly so this is basically a uh, an other player hack thing okay 
So now I'm, but remember, I'm still here. And so now, what happens if now you get time caught to get out. while all that stuff is happening? Do you get sucked out of the hack and? and oh yeah, you get too? sucked out of the hack. Okay. And then you have to deal with the trouble that you've caused. And then once you kind of finish your gunfight or whatever, you can just go back into it. Yeah, you can go back into it. Okay. Typically. Yeah, this is uh, this was fun because I didn't actually get into any action. <laughs> I mean, that's how I, in, in Watch Dogs, that's often how I prefer it, although I'm not against uh, doing the shooty-shooty when I need to. Sure. Um, and there's actually uh, a nice little move you can pull off. Oops, I better holster my gun before people start bitching. People in the, uh, surrounding me will be like, the dude's got a gun. Wait, is that the guy they call the vigilante? How they always can figure that out, it's not quite clear. This is one of those cases where... I think they would have been better off not having passersby acknowledge me because uh, I don't want to be acknowledged and, and I'm it's not always clear how it is that they figured out who I am. So hmm. here's the early skill tree. This is not the full skill tree. Um, this actually opens up even more. So here's... Uh, so I think I'm going to unlock uh, some hacking skills. One is opening bridges because it's my okay. favorite type of escape. Um, this one unlocks blockers, which uh, I can pull yeah. pull up um, during traffic, or I can in, I can uh, add a, a battery slot. You need for major hacks, you need a, a, a battery slot, and then that gradually refills. Do you have to recharge so. your phone? No, no, it, that just happens kind of automatically. <laughs> so I'm going to choose blockers, and then you have um, you have notoriety skills, which is based on your your notoriety. And that's that essentially comes from uh, earning, you know, earning a reputation uh, online. Okay. Can we hack somebody? Is yeah, let's totally hack somebody. So uh, let's see here. So we can do online tailing, a mobile challenge, online decryption, online hacking. Let's do some. Uh, Oh, I have to complete the introduction to unlock. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what's happening right here. Okay. I think, yeah. Hey, I need you to cover something for me. So this is my associate Jordy, who is the game's funniest character. No. He's uh, kind of a fast-talking associate, who tends to get me in a little bit of trouble. All right, but right now I'm gonna I'm gonna hack into. Uh, into a CTOS tower here, which involves a little bit of uh, puzzle solving and sometimes a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, navigation to figure out. So, if anybody in the chat is from Chicago, I'd like to know if 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 uh, everybody there is a freak like Watch Dogs says you are, or uh... <laughs> my brother lives in Chicago. I is he a freak? I wonder. Oh man, that would be great if he were. All right, so we've arrived here, and we will come around. And so the trick is going to be, basically, there's going to be uh, the, t the tower up there to hack into. Mm -hmm. So part of the trick is to figure out how to actually get up there. Mm -hmm. um, so this is where some of the fun begins. You Usually when you do these, you end up uh, wandering around a little bit. Ooh, hack. So hacking into that person, we get to see the uh, the text message, and this is a text message that actually uh, unlocks a package location. And hmm. those package locations usually just have some um, crafting materials for you or some ammo, okay. stuff like that. So, but you end up uh, having to go through the entire uh, text message. Again, everybody in Chicago is pretty much an ass, so everybody's <laughs> doing something they shouldn't be doing. So by hacking into him, I have a new vehicle that has come available. That's also how you earn some some new tunes as, as well. That guy's nice. He volunteers in a homeless shelter. Yeah, there are. Well, there are come some on. nice people. That's what keeps uh, Watch Dogs version of Chicago from being a complete shithole. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> are there any air vehicles? There are not. You have to fend off um, police helicopters. Okay, but you can't fly any. 
Yeah, but see, for now, I'm guessing that I'm going to need to come over here. All right, so here we go. Right. Here is a lift. I'm going to go up in the lift. And... There's a camera. Let me get into that camera now. So now we're now we're cooking with Crisco. Now, so you see, you can see the, you know, the lines here mm -hmm. that, that show you, sort of the the power connections. But it looks like we're going to need to do more because this one still is not uh, powered up. But I doubt we'll need to do anything from. Oh, there's a camera up there. There we go, there's the other unlock. So now we've probably unlocked all the doors that we need to unlock, and now the trick is just gonna be how to actually get in. So you can do a bit of climbing. You do a bit of climbing. It's not, the game's not Assassin's Creed. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're doing a whole lot of that. Um, but when it comes to unlocking these towers, you do end up having to navigate around a bit. Okay. Um, And then it looks like we'll need to come around. Oop, a little more climbing. And here we go. Here is the... Now, by hacking into the tower, I unlock additional objectives through, through the region. So, in that sense, it's very much like it's Assassin's like Creed and Far Cry. Sure. So, you know, you've, you've hacked into this particular area. Okay. And now it... You know, yeah, the influence yeah. spreads, and now I have these additional things that I can do. And so it, you know, says, hey, here's the map. Why don't you try this? So then, uh, you know, opens pawn shops. Um, here is uh, that, that drop-off location that the text was talking about. Um, these are all, the, the hot spots are basically like Foursquare. I'll, I'll show you what those are like since there's one real close. The hot spots are like Foursquare, so you just go in and check in. But there's a little bit more to it than that in the sense that you can leave uh, leave gifts for people that also check in. Hmm. And these are like other players, you mean? Yeah, other players. You can totally um, leave money um, for other people or ammo or whomever. So let's hop back into... Glad it's still here with its broken window and everything. Jasper. I guess I could have just walked. There's no reason well, not to just walk across well. the street to the theater. So as you can see, as you, as you <laughs> hover over people, you see all this information. Um, you know, like she's a server and an artist. Um, so the question is, if I hack into her, I might end up stealing money. So is that something that I actually want to do in this case? Wow. You end up just uh, reading her text. The unicorn ain't my rainbow. What is going on? <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> so he's that talking with a potential criminal. And this, this will unlock a, a crime location, and you can, you can uh, interrupt crimes in progress. Hmm. So after I check in, maybe we'll do uh, the crime. So yeah, I'll place the waypoint at the crime. First I'll come over here and we'll check in at this spot. So that's uh, that's the tutorial for checking in. So it tells you a little information. Not every spot in Watch Dogs it represents a real place in Chicago, but most do. Okay. So this will show you some history from um, the theater of the world. But also, you can leave gifts here. You can see that Dino oh, Man wow. 00 has been here and checked in three times. Huh. And uh, you can also leave gifts or, you know, obviously collect gifts. So you do get a certain gift allotment per day. It just comes from showing from donation. Is there a benefit to leaving yes. cash for somebody? or I don't... I don't know. Cause why? Why would I, as a player, leave my money? Just because you're a nice person. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a gift, even though I just took some money. So, um, I don't know. I might as well go ahead and leave some meds too. I'll leave some meds. There we go. Somebody out there will uh, benefit. Hmm. 
from the medication that I just left them. So, uh, oh, just hack into some random people. I just stole oh, nice. $740 from, uh, oh. uh-oh. <laughs> we have batteries? No? Hopefully that, uh, hopefully everything will be fine. But uh, if anybody is watching, we may need new batteries in the controller. Either that or we might just be too far from the Xbox. Sometimes that happens too. Uh-oh, I think I might have made a cop mad. But over here, there's a crime in progress. Okay. All right. Uh, while we're going there, we're going to do a little quick ad break. Uh, and maybe put some batteries in our controller. The wonder of batteries! We got new batteries for the controller, Woo! so I'm happy. So, where was I? Oh yes, I was tailing a criminal. So, it shows you his crime probability. You gotta make sure he doesn't catch you though, because otherwise you won't be able to catch him in the act. So I'm gonna zoom over like this. Graduate student, multiple public intoxication charges. Sounds familiar. That'll teach you. Oh. That's right. That's right. This guy designs cosplay costumes for a living. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> or maybe not for a living. Maybe Only just because you fun. saved him. Yeah. The cosplay community frequently purchases cookbooks. Gang hideout. Oh, gang hideouts are fun. Maybe I'll actually do some shooting this time. Okay. All right. And a skill point acquired. Let's, uh... This time, let's do something with shooting so that I can... There we go. All right. So now I'm going to try to get into some shooting here. I'll uh, try to... True Hope Faith in the chat actually makes a good point that I, I noticed. Is that the mini-map is on the right. And in a lot of games, it's on the left. It's on the left, that's true. And, and that was something that, that confused me for a bit when I first looked at the game. You know what? I never actually thought twice about it. Yeah? To tell you the truth, it never really... Uh, but part of that's... Um, I like GTA, but I haven't played GTA V in a long time, mm -hmm. so that's not really... Did I pass by the, the thing? Oh, it's right there. I, it is. It is right there. So it, it never really bothered me. Um, because it's it's so much right there, and I, I I don't really, and I guess what I'm paying attention to it is when I'm actually in a in a shootout mm -hmm. where it does seem to to be sort of a natural place for it to be for me. Maybe because I'm I'm right-handed. Okay. So anyway, let's activate this mission. My first instinct is to put a bullet. I like in the gang hideouts place. actually. Um, because they're, they're essentially just standalone combat encounters. Oh, okay. Um, I'll pull him off his pedestal, humiliate him in front of his crew. I'll show them. The although you typically you uh, you don't want to kill necessarily. Usually you have to take down one without killing him. Uh, all right, like the the leader or something. Right. So in this case, I'm gonna actually have to profile the target. And I listen in to, on her conversation. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's rude. I don't like hockey either. So there. All right, so camera up here. Let's take a look around. Scope out the joint. He's a, It says his occupation is scam artist. He's on the neighborhood watch, man. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here that I can play with remotely. One fun thing to do... I'm not going to distract him yet. He can call reinforcements. Hmm. Eventually you can unlock... This is the guy I have to knock down. Okay. So this guy can call reinforcements, and eventually you can actually, you actually get a perk, uh, a thing where that'll let you disable reinforcements. So I think 
see, this guy is like staring me straight in the face, and I don't know. With a big gun. So here we go. I have lures. So I'm gonna activate. Oh man, activate his face. Yeah. Death by face. So. I think what I might do for the fun of it is to uh, is to throw a lure over there, attract somebody over, over and then I'm going to explode that thing on the wall. <laughs> so there you go. Problem is, of course, that that draws attention. Sure. Go and get him. I don't care what it takes. Find him. And I have to remember not to shoot the main dude. Okay. You just gotta knock him down. Yeah. Nothing here. Moving on. Hmm. Well, maybe maybe I won't. I got do any shooting. All right, I'll. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. There's a dude behind. Yep. Oh, I didn't see that dude. Oh. All worked out. Oh, wrong button. All right. The guy I have to knock down is. He's calling. Oh, he's calling reinforcements. Great. <laughs> That's all right. I'm prepared. Over your head. Is there anything I can do to soften these dudes up a little bit? Those guys Pretty are coming sure from over there. there. Ouch. All right. He's dead. There's also a little bit of a, a slowdown mechanic, too. I'll show you that in a minute. Like a, a bullet time thing? Oh, yeah. Oh. Like that. Good for a headshot here and again. <laughs> That's right, I killed him in the hand. You got that right. Who needs headshots when you can... Okay, that guy is carrying a grenade. There's a, a guy over here carrying a grenade that I can actually hack remotely. And you can so blow let's up come over here and I can blow up his grenade. So... There we go. Let's watch that happen. Hopefully, somebody will get close to him. Holy shit! Holy shit. <laughs> ah! Ha! Wow. So he tried to get rid of it, and he just kind of threw it at his own feet, and then didn't move out of the way. So I can't say that the AI is particularly brilliant. Yeah. Oh, he's a dude. Shot you in the butt. You're dead. Yeah. That, it, one of the downsides of the game is that the shooting is. Is fairly easy. Oh man, he had an online dating account. That was really mean. Oh, that guy has a has an explodey grenade too. So how do you know that? Because when you hover over it, it'll tell you what available uh, okay. hack there is. Okay. How do you turn it off? What is he okay, doing do up it. there? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? That's not how you. That's not how you. You criminal. Huh. Although, to be fair, I I fell into his little trap. Uh, in the multiplayer, can you play cross-platform? No. No. There you are, you oh. shit. Oh, there's a little guy next oh, to him. Oh, there's a guy next to him. I didn't even notice him. <laughs> Bye! He didn't really notice you either. De oh, he was deaf in one ear! Oh, now he's deaf now in he's both. he's deaf in both. Oh, there's a sniper up there. All right, we're gonna leave. Get out of my way! She killed the guys, but left the leader alive, and that's it. Yeah, I had that's, to. That's the plan. That 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 was the plan. I I, I don't know that they always make sense, but it okay. was fun. So that's that's the part that matters most to me. Let's get into something online, even though I can't do a. Even though it looks like there's no hacking um, available for me quite yet, because I haven't done the the tutorial the contract, thing for it yet, yeah. um, there are a couple of really fun things to do. So there's there's online free roam, um, but you can, and you can just tool around with people. But decryption is one of my favorite things to do. But let's 
let's start with an online race. I think that that uh, is a good place to, to go. It'll search for a race, and uh, in the meanwhile, we can just tool around. So now that I can hack into bridges, I can open it, and then one of my favorite things is to actually... Well, I didn't do that, that one very well. <laughs> But that's that's particularly fun when the cops are on your tail. Let's see if I can annoy the cops. A uh, good way to do that is to steal a car. I was thinking about shooting people. But oh, that'll do it too. I suppose that's a different approach. Oh, I can't hack those people because I haven't I haven't hacked into the. So these guys uh, are playing an AR mini game. Every so often, cause you get to play them too. Every every so often though, you'll get to see dudes hanging around. Um, <laughs> like just pointing their their fingers in the air like they've got guns. They're playing right. AR mini games. All right. So, uh... oh no no no, that's not going to help. St stealing a car that way doesn't help. I have to steal. I have to actually hijack a car. <gasps> Out of there. And he'll call nine one one. He's calling nine one one. He's doing it secretly though. Nine one one, what's your emergency? We need cops here. I'm just hanging around. With you. All right, so now I'm in. If I escape this area before mm -hmm. the cops find me, um, I'll be all right. Okay. But sometimes they'll have multiple areas that they check. They're checking at one time. All right, but now the police are in pursuit. So now the uh, the fun begins, or the annoyance, depending on how you feel about police chases in open world games. I'm gonna take a little bit of a, a shortcut here. There is a lot of bounce. Yeah, there's a lot of bounce. Even in a car, this this car feels particularly heavy. Yeah. So. Open this bridge. So will they not cross it? Or? Well, if they won't cross it, oh, here we go into the online race anyway. There you go. <laughs> So I don't know if anybody's played Split Second maybe out in the chat. So races are have a little bit of that Split Second vibe because you're you're triggering explosions and things in the environment around hmm. you to mess up everybody else's racing. Okay. It's nothing quite as dramatic as in Split Second or even in Motorstorm Apocalypse where you like make giant changes to the environment. Mm -hmm. But uh, so people are voting on the the n on the race, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna vote for a random race because everybody else is voting for a random race. So hopefully I won't make too big of a fool of myself in an online race. So and then this is just gonna whisk me into the race, and it will. The thing is, at the end of the race, then you just remain where you are in your version of the world, which is kind of interesting. Huh. Like it'll whisk you away, but when it's done, it doesn't set you back where you were. Interesting. It just puts you where you happen to be when the race ends. Okay. So. Again, if you guys have any questions about the game, uh, feel free to chat on Twitch. Um, or if you just want to share your uh, opinions on bacon. Yeah, I'm, or that. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I don't know how anybody can have a, an opinion that bacon is not delicious, however. that's That doesn't make any sense. Here we go. These are all people, no These bots. are all actual people, no okay. bots. And there are shortcuts. Hmm. And there's nitro, which I just activated. Just picked it up. Yeah, you can pick up some nitro. Whoa! Oops. Somebody did activate a... Activated some environmental crap there, though. Yeah. up a
I haven't, I haven't triggered anything now yet. Yeah. Uh -oh. Whoa, uh -oh. no! Uh -oh. Somebody dropped out, you rude MFR! LPK Chichu Monchena. You suck. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh. Truck getting in the way. Look at my vehicle. My my doors are in bad shape. <laughs> Oh, no! Last lap. That King Ape. Coming for you, dude. So once, once an environment is triggered, you can't trigger it again, is that right? Um, that's true. In that race, I don't think you can trigger that, that yeah. steam pipe again, for example. Okay. Oh, he's messing up. This is the time. This is my time to take the lead. Can I do it? Sometimes it's just a... Oh, oh no. man! That was it. So close. But I love at the end, like you get a little bit of you get a little bit of uh, tooling around that you can do. Oh, so yeah. we'll be able to get out of the vehicles after uh, everybody's finished. Mm -hmm. See, see, it's kind of whoa. <laughs> see, that's always fun. Coming in hot. See, right now I can't do, uh, like interact. I, I have no interaction except for camera okay. control. Um, but as soon as the the countdown is done, you ran a smart race. Well done. And you can get out. Whoa. Ah! And then start tooling around. <laughs> we'll do another one, and then maybe we'll do. Uh... You can't actually kill anybody. Like no. you just you just tool around at this point. Hmm. So everybody on their own screen is Aiden Pierce, right? Oh, hello. Everybody on your own screen is Aiden. Yeah, on your own screen, you're always Aiden Pierce. To other people, you just look like random mm -hmm. people. And it looks like that race session's over since uh, the guy that was hosting it quit. Oh, so Criminal Convoy. Here's something we can do. Let's do a Criminal Convoy. So now you're back in your own. So I'm now back in my own world. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, I want your truck. I like your... I like your jacket, lady. Mm. Oh, she's calling 911. Crap. Let's uh, worry about staying away from the cops first. In my big, clunky vehicle that I stole. Hopefully I can just avoid being caught. Oh, man. So I, got a I should pay questions attention here. Okay, sure. Uh, Afanati says, what's the difference between the hacking blackout and the crafting blackout? The hacking blackout and the craft. Oh, when you ha you can hack a blackout um, object that mm -hmm. basically causes a blackout, or you can hack into a, a power um, a power box that causes a blackout. Uh -oh. I think we just need the um, the Xbox the a Xbox to be a little away. closer. Yeah. Um, as it turns out, I don't think it was the batteries that were the cause of the problem. <laughs> My reputation went down a little bit because I injured some people, mm -hmm. um, but the reputation is is such a meaningless thing. Really, it has no effect. Really, I, I mean, it has some, um, but it's not something that's so meaningful that I think people are usually going to pay attention to it. Okay. Um, I mean, in so far as morality systems are concerned, this morality system is not that gamified. Okay. So, in other words, any morality that exists from you stealing money from people that are poor, mm -hmm. for example, or from killing dudes that just got married or have cancer or something, sure. that's that's your morals to grapple with. The game doesn't not give you a, okay. a whole lot of extrinsic rewards for that stuff. Which some, I'm fine with. Yeah. There's some questions about the multiplayer hacking. Yeah. Um, so when you go into multiplayer hacking, you are... What, what is your role when you are trying to hack? If you, you hack somebody or? else, your role is to, is to get to the player, um, initiate the hack, and then stay out of their line of sight 
and so that they don't identify you. So okay. your goal is to not be seen. You can either blend in, you can just walk around, or you can get in a vehicle and drive a little bit, but you have to stay within a certain circle. Okay. And as time goes over, the circle gets smaller and smaller. Okay. So uh, actually, let's... Uh, Get uh, let's let's get the uh, the story underway so we can actually do some online hacking. I think that sounds like the most appropriate thing yeah. to do, so that people can actually see a hack in progress. Oh, by the way, you can uh, oops, wrong button. You can get cars on demand. So um, I prefer motorcycles when I can. Why is that? Because they're fast and bouncy. <laughs> so you don't fly just off them well, or what? Well, you do. They're they're you're not you're you know it's you're more vulnerable than if you're in a car. Yeah. But it's quicker to get places. And there's also a fast travel. You can go. You can fast travel between your hideouts. Okay. Is there like a call a taxi function or anything? No. Wee! I missed my turn. And bye. That's perfectly realistic, by the way. Yep. On a motorcycle, you can run yep. into street lamps. And they just they just fall over. No damage to you or your cycle. There's actually a really cool bit later in the game where you uh, where you kind of do a tail. Th you're tailing a boat with you mm -hmm. on land on a motorcycle. <laughs> That's actually super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I missed my turn again. Excuse me. Man, I like that when you back up. You, you do that. I, that. That seems particularly yeah. like a nice little detail. I mean, pretty expected, oh, I guess. Story through that pole. I forget which mission this is. The one's loving the coat physics on the on the motorcycle there. Oh, this is where. This is where you uh, get invaded. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the invasion. Is this simulated or is it another player? This is simulated, I okay. think. Okay. So now I have to find the dude, and he needs to hack into me, but we need to be close to each other for those things to happen. Okay. I need to be in the area. Is that how it would normally be, or? Yeah, this is typically how it would normally be online. Okay. But two, two x the tap is uh, definitely an AI. Okay. All right, so here we are. Now he's gonna start hacking into me once. He'll he'll easily see me. Because you're Aiden Pierce, or well, because or he, just he, random person? he he identifies me. I'm okay. just identified on his screen. Okay. And then you have to start looking at different people. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Is that him? And yeah, that's, that's him. him. Look, now you kill him. This one was really, wow. really easy. Okay. <laughs> because he started to run away. Yeah, he starts to run away. But that's <laughs> the most fun thing, though. When you have... When you have people that can run away... Um, the, the, the chase can be super fun. Mm -hmm. As one time I... The guy Someone's tried to get away from me by me. jumping into a pickup truck. And I was right behind him, and I jumped into the rear of the pickup truck. I jumped into the bed. <laughs> and then I planted um, some explosives and jumped out and then set the explosives off. And that's how I killed him. And that was, <laughs> that was it, th those are the kind of things where you can't really plan that stuff out a lot that's of the time. Cool. So now. Uh, now can we hack? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that now. Yeah. In fact, no time like the present. Let's see what kind of contract I can pick up. Fraudulent psychic. Using ac acupuncture for chain smoking. <laughs> Wedding canceled. Oh man. That's kinda sad, you know? Rejected from police academy. No, Dude, you're 53. Hack that person. Oh, and I unlocked new music. <laughs> How is the music in this game? Not great. No. <laughs> no. So, hacking begins. All right. So you'll see how this looks from the other angle now. Okay. 
But the, it's most fun when you're simply not successful, and then the chase begins. When the when the hacker so is then not they're successful. chasing you. So I won't actually. Mi- yes, exactly. Okay. So I won't mind getting caught necessarily, because I actually like getting caught. All right. Join failed. Oh. What uh, What do you get if you successfully hack somebody? Reputation is okay. the big is the biggest thing, and it's it's. Uh, yeah, so it's it's not the most important thing. Like in the end, I just do it because I think it's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, there are there are rewards that the game gives you, um, so you can kind of see like the notoriety skills that you get from from okay. earning notoriety and stuff like that. But honestly, this stuff has never particularly interested me all that much. Mm-hmm. So. So it looks like I have two skill points, so might as well open things up while I'm here. Oh, here we go. Let's see if the per- hopefully the person won't cancel the hack. Yeah. Oh, so you can just like, like- if, yeah, if you if if somebody if somebody doesn't want to participate, they can mm-hmm. just refuse. Oh. Hmm. I think. I don't know, like whenever I've been hacked, it just says you're being invaded. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Can multiple people hack you at once? No, not in this type of hack. Okay. Alright, so the hacking begins. So that guy's looking for you. That guy's looking for me. But I just, oh, those people disappeared right in front of me. So I'm going to initiate the hack. So you're just trying to blend in? So I'm just trying to blend in right now. And to him, you're just a to random... To him, I'm just a dude. I'm, okay. or, a, or a woman. I'm just walking around doing my thing. But I don't want to call a lot of attention to myself. Sure. So this is where things can get a little bit tricky. Can you sit down in a chair? I cannot. Uh, it's. I wish it were a little bit more like Assassin's Creed multiplayer, where yeah. I could just like get close, yeah. and then I blend in, and it mm-hmm. looks like we're all chatting and stuff. But my favorite thing to do, if, if I can is to get on a get in a vehicle yeah and then crouch down huh. uh. so as you go on though the circle is going to get smaller and smaller and you have to stay in that circle yes Always coming near we you. both do so you broke that window did you see you break the window hopefully not but I'm going to hide in the car. So now I'm going to hide in the car. This is this is the unexciting part of a hack. <laughs> right? So <laughs> slip space there, I think might be uh, able to find me soon. He's coming. But I don't mind being nope, caught. That's nope. one of my favorite. So you don't have to run around. You can hack into cameras and look around that way. That can actually be super efficient. Hmm. So now we're 50% down. So I could actually if I wanted to, sometimes I start driving around. Or, but he's like but you don't have a lot of space, and you'd have to reverse to stay in that circle. Right. So he's he's still running around looking for me. Yeah. The bad news about that space is that 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 he's then able to narrow down. Yeah. But he has not. It doesn't take much to identify somebody. All he has to do is basically just kind of set sights on uh, on me. Driving. No. Oh. Uh, I don't know what he what yeah, he was what doing. What was that about? Maybe an accident. He might. He might have been looking to see if I was hiding in a car. Uh-huh. Oh crap. He's checked that place several times. <laughs> yeah, but new people might have uh, come in. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You might actually get this? I might actually get it. He's not. Um, he hasn't identified me yet. I really actually kind of want him to, oh. so I'm tempted Is to, this it? to move. Is but this I think it? he's going to do it like Oh, he's got oh you. crap. He's got you. Get, get out, out of there! Get out! Oh no! no. Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> oh, you can't kill him. <laughs> Move! Go! 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 <laughs> so now he's trying. Oh crap! Oh, I blocked nice. myself. Oh, God you damn it! That? that is so embarrassing. Oh. That is so embarrassing when you block yourself. Oh my god. Dang. Oh my god! I ruined that. Ah! <laughs> 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 It is, seriously, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. 
<laughs> like where I've, where I've, I've, I've get kind of trigger happy and I lift the barrier before I'm actually across it. <laughs> and that's like, oh great, good job. I basically committed suicide oh, by, by man. blocking myself. So, but it's, it's, uh, you'd be, you'd be really surprised at how easy it is to do that. <laughs> All right. So anyway, there's some hacking. Um, let's uh, let's initiate now some uh, decryption, which is <laughs> which is my favorite thing to do in this game. I think. Um, in the meanwhile, when you wait to get into de decryption, like you're, you you basically put your story and, and other things on hold. Oh, that was easy. So this is basically. Think of it as a capture the flag variant. Oh, so yeah. it's one a team of up to four people versus another team, and you have to hold. You have to capture and hold the uh, the information as long as you can. But other people need to come and take it from you. But to take it from you, they don't even necessarily have to kill you. Like they, you can just be within range of you with a certain range, and as long as mm -hmm. they stay there, they'll steal it from you. Like hack so, you. Yeah, basically. Uh, okay. So you're, so you're constantly the information is just pa constantly being passed around. Okay. Um, but you could do all of this in vehicles, on foot, <laughs> shooting. People can get in the passenger side and shoot out the window. Cool. Um, so that's th this is chaos. This this mode can be. Super chaotic. Sounds fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just finish this. We're at time. So now it's time to steal. So uh, yeah. Did you join late, or they just start with the file? I I may have joined late. Okay. Because usually, if you're there at the start, yeah. Then what that means is that uh, there's a spot where the file is, and, okay. you, and there's a mad dash to there. pick it up. Okay. Nice. Got it. Go. Got the file. Ugh. Oh. God damn it. Oh, man. File's being stolen. I want a vehicle really bad. But <laughs> so it looks like it's three on one, maybe? Hey, dude. She's dead. She's dead. All right. No. Oh, he's jammed the comms. Hmm. So we can't really tell what's going on. What I really want to do is get in a vehicle. By the time they started to go like maybe I'll get in some ridiculous vehicle. <laughs> All right, let's get in the semi-truck. So when when is it over? When somebody gets to 100%. This wasn't very fun uh, because I'm at 99%. Run, run him over! Boom. Oh, crap! Keep going. Oh man, they're stealing it. They're stealing it. Oh, I lost the file. Oh, damn it, damn it. So, so it's at 99% and they just have to get up 1%. Yeah. 100%. But I think I think the win is based on uh, I think the win is based on how long you've held the file, not who happens to be holding the file uh, at the very end. Although the end. there might be a bonus for that. Um, I'm afraid I'm afraid to talk about the specifics. Yeah. Of the <laughs> of the scoring because I have a feeling that I'd probably get it wrong. Okay. Let's uh, let's do another one. So we've got we voted for the next contract. So we'll do a full full game. So yeah, this will hopefully be a full game. Yeah, it should be. The last one was kind of anticlimactic because I got in when we, when we were already at like 90% yeah. decrypted, so. So everybody starts with weapons? Yeah, you unlock uh, different different loadouts okay. um, as you go through the game. And then it, re it warns you that you're teleporting. And then, of course... If only people could have guessed that by what was on the screen. <laughs> Some fun chat going on in there.
You mean, by chat, you mean <laughs> static. All right, so now you kind of see, oop, now you kind of see, so there's a mad dash for everybody to kind of retrieve the file. <laughs> so I, I, I may get it, mm -hmm. but I'll probably be immediately shot. So I've got the file. All right. And now, oh, one teammate down. There's a street here. So, and if you're if you stay in range of your teammates, you, uh, you the decryption actually goes faster. Oh wow! Because um, you're gosh, kind of both damn it. The on one it. time I actually won a vehicle there. I can't order a vehicle. There you go. You can still order a vehicle, but there's one over here. Oh man! Uh... If you leave. If you play online and you ever leave matches in progress, you suck. <laughs> I think everybody left your session. Maybe. It could, so it could be just me. The frame rate just dropped when that happened, yeah. too. Oh, uh, I won! There it is. <laughs> so it might have just been our internet or something. I don't know. Can you choose to join with your friends in a certain match, or is it all just kind of random placement? Yeah, you can. There, there are choices that you can make, but I'm... You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna quit the mission. <laughs> I'm just gonna do something else. <laughs> Sorry. See that does, it, that doesn't count. Quitting that, right? Yeah, you yeah. can't be mad at me for quitting that. That because, was over. Because it was, it was because between. it hadn't started. That's right. Between, That's right. So I, I think Benito came in and said that actually our time was up. Right? Time's up. So that that kind of sucks because now I just want to play Watch Dogs all day. Mm. So that's uh, kind of kind of wrong, I guess. Is there a penalty for the host leaving the session? I don't think so. I don't think that there are any real penalties for that kind of stuff. Oh, we can keep going if we want. Okay, let's just play a little bit more then. Yeah. <laughs> that's good because I like. <laughs> all right, so let's uh, let's uh, head towards uh, head out here. We'll we'll unlock uh, another CTOS center. Actually. Maybe there's a closer hideout that I can just teleport to. Nope, we gotta drive. Mm. We're gonna drive, but it's all right. Driving's fast. But those are my favorite things to do. Is the uh... so now the game is constantly going to uh, invite me to do stuff. Do multiplayer things. Yes. So. Or single player things. Just when you get close to something, it'll be like, uh, okay. "Hey, dude, there's a there's a gang hideout over here. You want to infiltrate that? Uh, hey, by the way, did you know you can do this? Hey, by the way, did you know you could do that? Hey, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> the game's a little bit needy. It's annoying. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> hey, you know what's awesome? This thing. I don't care if you're in the middle of another thing. This other thing's also awesome. That sounds like the internet. The thing you're doing isn't <laughs> awesome enough. I've got another thing right over here. Hey, psst. Yeah, the watchdogs can be a little, uh, you yeah. know, a little attention-seeking. Mm -hmm. But that's that's it's it's all right. So now we go to Pawnee. So Pawnee, as far as I can tell, so Pawnee is a real place in Illinois, but it's not close that close to Chicago. Yeah. So here it seems like it's set up to, to be sort of a a rural sure. place. Uh, maybe somebody in Chicago can tell me. Because I'm not from Chicago so I don't really know how exactly how well it handles its geography. Yeah, but yeah. I do know that Pawnee is not really a, it's not a really a Chicago suburb. Right. So I'm kind of curious if this is just a representation of Pawnee and they've moved it close to Chicago mm -hmm. or if this is actually representative of something else that's near Chicago that's being called Pawnee here. I, I, I sort of wish I knew. As far um, as I know, uh, there's nothing quite this open. Quite this, this world, this, this close, close to the city. This close to Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think so. I mean... You know, usually real life cities are, are condensed in some way sure. in uh, in games. Um, yeah. Fallout Three was always interesting because I used to, you know, I lived in DC for a long time, and so my feelings about about Fallout Three were always, how is it that I can walk from the Washington Monument to Chevy Chase in in five minutes? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
And and they you know did that similar thing uh, with Grand Theft Auto V where you have your downtown Los Santos and then shortly above you have desert, right? Which clearly is not LA. <laughs> Yeah, but at least it, you know when when you when it's fictional, yeah. you can sort of get away with stuff. Yeah. So this is this is basically uh, it's another gang thing. So this is a C this is a CTOS hub, mm -hmm. which you need to unlock to do the, to get to the the towers. So I'm gonna kind of boat over, I guess. <laughs> Good work. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you liked my boating. Um, and now, I like when you enter a combat area how he just kind of automatically gets into Sneak. stealthy position. Okay. So now we know we're sneaky. Yeah. But for now... So he can call reinforcements, but I don't yet have the skill that... Uh, kind of allows that. I was kind of looking over here to, to see if I had any skill hacking skills I could unlock, but I don't. And I'd rather hold on to uh, the skill point. So I'm gonna try to see if there's a camera around. So I can explode that dude and I can distract that dude. So I'm kind of wondering Maybe if I explode that dude, and uh, I'm gonna do this while they're distracted by the explosion, and it looks like I got both of them. Too bad we weren't we weren't really watching that. Here's uh, a new weapon for me to pick up. So you know, now I've got ooh, and that's some the goblin's nice too. All right, so that dude also I can explode. So I'm just gonna quickly explode him. It's more fun to drop to drop like to draw other dudes close. <laughs> so uh, now I I don't have enough that that costs two battery uh, spots okay. to explode, so I don't have enough. So And that recharges? Oh it does recharge, now. yeah. But I need to locate the dude with the access code because I don't want him to die. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm oh here's a camera up there. I didn't see it. Alright, so let's take a look around. There's just hacking to be done. There we go. And actually, some dudes have cameras, and then you can just oh, hack uh, into their camera. And are you controlling the movement, or is no, this him no? Walking? He just does his own thing. But this is a good way to like kind of get out there and see if you can identify mm -hmm. you know, in, or get into places. There's actually a really great, and then sometimes you can get into a camera that you can't necessarily oh, get neat. to. So hacking that dude. So now I need to hack into the server, and from this point, it's anybody's... Like, I can do it whatever way I want. Mm -hmm. So I attracted him over there, but I, I can't really do anything with that. From, from the cameras, at least. And that burst would be a good distraction. So... Let's uh, let's get back into Aiden's body here and stop doing our driver San Francisco stuff, which is kind of how I think about that. <laughs> and let's see how we're going to get through here. I feel like I haven't really done a lot of shooting, so maybe I should just kind of, just kind of plow through. Maybe, but I see the thing is my my actual style. Oh, boom. Oh, and his grenade's gonna go off. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> I like it when, cause, cause they can miss being um, crapped out by their grenade. They, uh -oh. they can actually sometimes throw it out of the way and not, oh, okay. and not die and whatnot. <laughs> but sometimes they'll throw it at some other dude. There were some crafting supplies up here. So you can actually craft various things, which is nice. You can grab huh. craft IEDs and, and grenades and, and all of your, your distraction tools and stuff. Like right now I haven't unlocked that stuff. 
so I can't really craft anything until I until I get use that for. Uh... Although now that I've uh, unlocked a skill tree, maybe we can uh, just unlock some of the crafting. So now I can. This way I can uh, make frag grenades. Let's let's do that. And this way I can do jam comms, which is not also nice to have. So. So let's. Uh, Craft some grenades. Oh. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, it doesn't take much. It really doesn't take much. So let's just throw a grenade his way. Oh. I, what was I, that? I did a bad job of aiming, but bounced off his knee. Oh. He didn't die. Shot him in the butt. It's deadly <laughs> the in this most game. Most deadly area. Are there dogs in this game? Mm, are there dogs? No, huh? -uh. No. That would be neat though if there were attack dogs. Heads up. I dare you, come by, come over here. I dare you. Oh, mistake. Oh, how did that guy not see you? He totally missed me. Yeah, the AI is not brilliant. Yeah. What uh, difficulty oh. setting are you on? This is medium, I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I don't think that uh, Rob was doing anything. So now I have a shotgun. Very but I killed stealthy. everybody. So I like how I'm holding it behind me like that. It sort <laughs> of reminds so me of know. if you've played Persona 3 or something, like it reminds me of <laughs> how they how they run with their arms behind you. So now a little bit of hacking. Okay. Oops. Boom boom boom. <laughs> Boom, boom. There we go for that okay. one. Move that this way. Oop. There we go. Oop. Nope. That'll do it. And in we go. So hopefully there will be a hacking a hack for a randomizer again so we can see if somebody's up to no good. All right, here we go. <laughs> of course. Here we go. Randomizer begins. <laughs> so DeadSec is like the big hacking group. It's like an Avon party. A little family lunch going on. Mm, yeah. Try here. Eventually, you want to unlock a hideout that has a whole bunch of hacks in there for you to just like look at a bunch of these. Oh, really? But after a while, I was like, this doesn't match the tone of the game at all. Huh. So, what is the tone what of the is... game? It's hmm. unclear. Five and a quarter, all right. Oh, so he's the extender. Oh, he's wow. got a nice little. Uh, So that was his uh, cam show, <laughs> his webcam show. So I think it's very important to note that the people of Chicago were really into masturbation. Wow. Yeah, it's a thing they do. Something about it's Chicago, Chicago thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really into it. And for that, I say, you go, Chicago. <laughs> Good job. So yeah, district access unlocked. So now this is going to mean that, uh, yeah, it's it, yeah, new new stuff. Are we going to call it? Oh, that's too bad. The masturbation's done for the day. Um, <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for coming in and, and watching us. I mean, play Watch Dogs. Very grateful for you joining us. And uh, my thanks to Max. My thanks to everybody out there for being awesome. And, uh, you know, we've got lots of stuff coming up. We've got lots of stuff on the site today. Yeah. So make, make sure to uh, stay tuned to GameSpot. Cause what, I'm, I'm trying to think, what, what do we got tonight that I need to plug, or like later this week that I need to plug? I really should have thought about that before starting the show, but just, just read GameSpot <laughs> all the time, and we'll have cool stuff for you, all right? And uh, I guess we'll, we'll see you later. All right, see you guys. Bye.